Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one will be on Batman Eternal issue number 8 and before I start this review I want to point out that this cover is so cool and it's basically talking about mostly what happened in this issue. This issue starts up with uh, you know a couple of uh, divers are diving into the ocean uh, to seek uh, the money that was hidden uh, and the you know other stuff that were hidden in the place of uh, the penguin that was destroyed earlier on in issue number seven. We see that uh, the moment they reached to the uh, you know to the place where it was stored, where the gold and money and all that stuff were stored, they kind of got ambushed by Batman, and Batman kind of took the rest of the gang down. So later on, we see that Batman actually sent a message to uh, Falcon through the sky, and uh, he told him to tell him that this is his city and all that stuff and later on we see that uh, Batman already wrapped up some of the gangs but uh, Commissioner Forbes uh, didn't really allow uh, these people that were wrapped up by Batman to get into jail since he doesn't really cooperate with uh, vigilantes as Batman and uh, later on we basically see that that Falcon is actually preparing for something big that's gonna uh, happen at midnight uh, he's gonna do something really big and he asked Forbes to prepare himself for it so later on you see that uh, Bruce Wayne went into the old uh, stuff of uh, Falcon to see where did he go after he left Gotham and basically he went to Hong Kong and he did some planning and he did some stuff back there but he doesn't know what is it until now but uh, later on you see that uh, Vicky Val, you know, she appears to Brad and she starts to ask him about a uh, few stuff that happened in this crime scene. And basically, this crime scene was the place where uh, Stephanie Brown did her phone call to her mother. And uh, you know, we see that Clue Master already took care of it and he sent someone to kill her. And the moment she stepped out of out of the uh, phone booth, there was someone who needed the, the phone. So basically, the moment he entered, he kind of got shot by these people. And basically, she was saved because of that person and later on we see that uh, Forbes and uh, Brad are calling up on uh, Batman you know they showed up the signal and we finally saw that uh, Batman is trying to talk to Forbes and trying to make uh, something good about it you know he's trying to explain to him that he and uh, Commissioner Forbes want the same thing they want uh, Gotham to be safe and all that stuff until uh, you know they start up the fire and they started off with the smoke which was a mistake you know because Batman is the best at fighting the smoke and he took down every single uh, person that was there except Brad had a gun pointed right to his face but uh, he just let him go and in the end Batman knew that there was someone else on his side other than uh, Forbes you know he knows that there's still someone out there who's on his side and who's gonna help him and uh, in the end he decided to go to Hong Kong to basically know more about the past of uh, Falcon and in the end of the issue we see this girl who noticed Batman I don't know who is she yet but I'm pretty much looking forward to it Thank you all guys for watching my review on Batman Eternal issue number 8. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And basically I love the art in this book. It's so good. I love the story. It's pretty interesting right now. It's even better than issue number 7. And uh, I can't wait to see who's this mysterious girl in, in the end of the issue. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen to Stephanie Brown after that. You know, I'm pretty much looking forward to see how she's going to change into the superhero that she's going to be. I think so, yeah. So thank you all guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and see you guys around. Take care.